Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. This is part three of uh, building powerful search engines with semantic search and uh, elastic search. Uh, the last last two videos, the first video was introduction. Second video, we just did uh, architecture type, right? How we should be implementing that. Third video right now, this is uh, where we will dive into the code uh, and I'll show you some of some of the code. Uh, you know, there is a lot that can be done. You know, and I, and I talked a lot in part two, right? The ranking. Uh, then we talked about essentially auxiliary index. I cannot do everything in this video, but what I can show you is some pseudo code, some mappings, elastic search, and, and on that, right? So allow me to uh, walk you over the code and, and let's do that, okay? Uh, I just started writing code now. So what I'm doing is, uh, you know, we had this CSV file, right? That I was talking about for job posting. We want to implement semantic search on that, right? So the idea is to get the entire job posting and convert them into a vector, right? So essentially we'll convert all this into a vector, essentially. So uh, we started that right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do in my machine learning, I have semantic search. I'm gonna create a new Python notebook. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know, uh, so I'm, right now I'm trying to convert code into an object oriented, right? So, so right now what I have done is uh, I'm essentially defining all the inputs that are needed. So I don't need this. So let me, uncomment out everything for now okay we'll be writing this mini mini component so the first step we want to do over here and we'll say step one okay and uh, i i personally like to use intellij because it offers the coding becomes much more easier man on intellij i, I really like it man to be honest so I have a simple reader class. The job of this reader class is to essentially, uh, uh, I have a chunk size, but uh, because the file is massive, right? So I'm reading a part of it, but uh, you could easily, you know, or, or you know what guys, let's let's remove that, it's just fine. So this class essentially takes a file name, reads a pandas data frame, uh, does some processing. So essentially uh, fills the, you know, none value because Elasticsearch will reject the none values, right? And essentially that's what this class has to do. Uh, we can simply test this out. Uh, just want to make sure this works. So might take a while because the file is big, you know, has a lot of posting. So let's let's say. So we'll do a head here. And as you can see, we have the data, right? Um, as uh, Again, we have the entire raw job posting. I'll, I'll try to show you. So we want to implement the semantic search, okay? So American, uh, it's a long one. So I think that's why uh, let's do this. Why is it showing dot dot? That that's, it doesn't make sense. Uh, let's do. Let me say. Df. And uh, let me do job post. I just show you that you know that there are like these are the actual raw job posting, right? Uh, if you want, I can I can do the number, right? So as you can see, this is actual raw job posting, right? We have, so, um, okay, so we have that. Now what we wanna do is we essentially wanna uh, tokenize these um, um, job posting, right? So that's where uh, the language model comes into place. So we'll be using something called as, uh, I think it was a sentence transformer. So uh, this is a Python library, right? So if you, if you come to Google, right? And we say sentence transformer, IPPy, and, and and I'm gonna show you. So you can come to their GitHub repository, but this is where uh, they have done all the beautiful, lovely, lovely part, right? So um, this has semantic search in that as well. Uh, there's a, there are a lot of models here. So um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you if possible. Esportnet, yeah, that, that was the one I was. So, so you know, you have you, th there are instructions on how to install that. So you have to say pip install and this, and then you can you know start using uh, this, right? So, um, but now what we want to do is let's hop back to the code. So we define the imports uh, at this point. Sorry, not this one. I'm now switching screens. So, so pardon me for that. This is a reader class, right? So th that's great. Works great. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to essentially uh, create a tokenizer class uh, and I'm gonna again gonna use IntelliJ, it's easy to program, then I'll paste the code there. Um, over here in the class, I load, I'm loading the model in the constructor, uh, this is the object, right? Uh, whatever documents passes, I'm passing this as an array uh, because that's how that works. And then I'm saying uh, model.encode, I wanna encode that and essentially, I'm flattening out uh, the array because it returns a dense vector, okay? 
but for some reason you know after doing you know a little bit but uh, while i was playing with that i came to know that you have to still you know use some numpy because uh, elastic search bulk apply was rejecting documents so uh, because of that then uh, you know while i was seeing that so so i had to add these line of code this is something that i took from stack overflow so uh, i'm just going to make things in, in that line so okay so what i'm going to do is uh, once we uh, crack that one i'll create a an empty placeholder here right and then i'm going to start writing code here so i want to pass it to a numpy a numpy array right so uh, ideally you shouldn't be do we shouldn't have to do that but i had errors while using elastic search library and which is why uh, i had to add this line of code to resolve that so yeah whatever <laughs> it works it works <laughs> okay so this 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 class right here uh, the job of this class is to it takes a text attribute and the the job is to spit out a vector uh, right so now if we put this component here tokenizer and we could verify that by doing df i think it's job post right let's grab any random document okay so we'll we'll spit out a text here now i'll try to use the tokenizer class so and then uh, we can call the method get token on that which is why i like intellij you know it provides intelligence uh, code uh, writing code is much more easier so here you have to press tab and all that i, I don't like that that's why I, for programming purposes i prefer intellij and then if you want you can dump it here uh this might take a while uh, again as i said uh, so now let's be patient uh, did i import the sentence yeah i did import that here so now uh for the first time it takes time but after that it's usually pretty fast so if i try to paste token uh now as you can see it's a flatten out nice ve uh, vector here the 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 length is 384 so this is exactly what we need in that okay so i uh, wanted to show you that so that would essentially help you to create tokens right so now let me copy this in my intellisense so that way i can okay so this is this was just for uh, our sample understanding right we still are writing these components though okay so that's fine so essentially we have a reader class then a tokenizer class right so the tokenizer class will take the job posting and convert them into vectors right um, as easy as that right now let's head head back to my uh, jupyter notebook so once we do that now we need to essentially uh, this is the important part and as i said uh this is where we need to dump the mapping right so uh, on elastic search we need to go and create an uh, we need to create a mapping so essentially and I'll, i i i want to explain you this so we are saying that settings okay we'll collapse everything uh, okay whatever we will we'll, we'll work on that but yeah so now we are saying that um uh, essentially on my pandas data frame i will have a column called vectors uh the type would be knn vector the dimension is 384 this is the dimension that i essentially had on my code because the model is emitting out 384 uh, bit encoding right we flatten that out right so that's the vector you could define other explicit mappings right then we are saying index we are using 20 shards uh right now it's a small data set doesn't really matter but when you an idle ideally you want to have uh, around uh, 15 to 20 gigabytes per shard right but i'm just using the 20 right now because you know i have that in the code scaffold number of replica is set to 1 which means uh, i want to use one replica you want to have replicas number basically set based on the number of uh, cpu you have uh, the worker cpu right uh these are some hyper parameters tuning that i've been doing for knn right you could tweak these numbers uh, right and th that's essentially going to create um uh an index on elastic search with that with that um uh, uh with that essentially mapping so uh the name of the index uh, is posting right so we'll uh, do that now okay i'm on my kibana dashboard here uh, about to create that index that i was uh, explaining you 
So let's create this index. Uh, I'm going to click on the put button. Oops, sorry for that. We'll click on this button and we get an acknowledged true, which means an index with the uh, index named posting has been created on Elasticsearch. Now we can uh, switch back to the code again. Uh, we can go back. So at this point, this is done right now. What's the next part is essentially um, we 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 wanna uh, you know we so 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 what I'm trying to say is uh, let me close this one now. Okay, so I can go back to my Jupyter notebook. So this this class right here that returns essentially a pandas data frame, and then we wanna convert all the job posting into a vector, right? So what can I do is essentially I I I I I wanna say df. Uh, and then I wanted to create a column there called vectors. Remember, because our mapping has something called, we named it vectors, right? So we have to call this as vectors. So we need a column called vectors, and then we'll say df, apply the job, apply this normalization process. We wanna create the instance before that. Um, so then we wanna do is we wanna apply this on a class called, oh, sorry, we wanna apply this on a column called job posting. Uh, let me see if I can find the name of that. And I, I'll leave the uh, clean code there, so don't worry, please. Um, so now here, I'm gonna say job posting, and I use the word apply. Uh, now, I wanna say helper token dot get tokens, right? So we'll try to use that, and we will pass the address to that, and uh, remove this code. So now my pandas data frame um, should have all the tokens, right? So now let's run the, uh, let's go to my Jupyter notebook. So step one, we define the imports, we define all the classes. Now let's try to uh, run this again. So now I'll remove the first two step because I already ran that cell, right? So I should have that DF word. So now if I try to run this um, code or the cell, uh, this will take time, bear in mind, because for all the document, it has to go inside and it has to create that embeddings, right? Which means it would be a slow process and you have to be patient. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna start resuming once the embedding. <laughs> All right, so just a couple of things, man. At this point, since we have these vectors now, uh, the vectors are done. Now, at this point, we just need to upload those data into Elasticsearch, right? So what I did is essentially, I wrote a class called Elasticsearch import. Simple, you know, takes a, uh, takes a pandas data frame, I'm converting them into a, a list of objects and I'm essentially uploading them to Elasticsearch. Yes, I know we can do a bulk import here in generators. I have done that in my Elasticsearch Zero to Hero series, but here I'm doing a POC, okay? So <laughs> proof of concept, right? So, okay, so that's that, right? So one, then we wanna upload the documents to um, the Elasticsearch, right? So um, I did that, right? So I, I, I called the class and I imported all the documents to Elasticsearch. Now it is show time. So I have a test snippet. So now let's see how this works. So uh, enter the input query. So what I'm looking for in semantic search, right? I am looking for software engineering New York. Let's see what it gives us. Oh shit. Look at this, senior intimate software engineer, software developer, junior engineer, software engineer, software programmers. Isn't this amazing? To me, it's fascinating, really. So uh, it understands the uh, you know software engineer, then it gives me senior software engineer. Uh, anything related to programmers, it gives me, right? Uh, uh, as I said, I'm doing a very simple KNN search here. I, I could implement a lot more here. I can add a keyword search as well, which means and anything that the user enters that, that would go to the keyword search and it would give me much more relevant results. I could have the ranking system here, but this is a really amazing to me. So for example, uh, let's say you're looking for some web developer, right? So I am looking, I am looking for, for ah, come on, I'm looking for someone that can make websites and maybe a web developer. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Web designer, web developer, web developer, programmer. Man, this is amazing. This is really, really interesting. If this is not interesting, I don't know what is interesting to you. Uh, what I will do is um, I would leave the entire code in the description section below so you guys can check that out. 
let me know your thoughts on this video uh, i would just conclude the video right here right um so it was really fun uh, creating this video right we went through part one part two part three was simply a poc where we said okay let's just get a pretend model uh, convert things into vector and let's try to implement semantic search on elastic search right so whatever query the user types it understands the synon it understands that and then it recommends the best possible uh, items to you as i said there's a lot more to this query right this is just a simple knn query we could do so much we could add analyzer when you're typing stuff it would remove stop words then essentially put those as in the shoot section as a match word which means hey match all the keywords and give me most similar item to this we could uh, build in an entity recognition model there where it would extract whatever items you have from the query and then for example if the entity is location it would automatically add that in the filter section and the last section we could build such a powerful system with this right Hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, if you did enjoy this, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you want, we could do more videos on, on this as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. Keep smiling, keep programming. Entire Jupyter Notebook on my blog section. Links in the description. Take care, keep smiling.